in this channel we have a tradition where i usually set up suit up for the season finale but i'm still banned on twitch so you know what no suit let's begin today's reaction excalibur the grail what would have happened if kirisugu didn't use his third command spell there because the second one was destroy it with excalibur and the third one was like double up was there a chance that saber wouldn't do it I don't know. Tatasando,の命令のみの関係で。私はもっと身近に使えてくれた者たちの心すら。Kirisugu huh. won. Saber is admitting defeat. Saber saying, "Oh shit, I was wrong. Fighter was right." Even Kirisugu, the person that I thought was like the epitome of evil incarnate. I didn't understand them because of my fraudulent ideals. This is Saber's closure? <laughs> Goodbye, I just feel in grail form. Man, I mean, if that is like, I thought that maybe Saber would find her own answer by like doubling down on her ideals and say no, I know what I had to do right next time I'll be better. But this time she's like, yeah, looks like I was a fraud. Looks like I really was just an, like a naive little girl chasing after ideals. And Kitsugu is a perfect example of someone that was right beside me, but I couldn't even figure that shit out. Damn, I kind of feel bad, but not everyone can, I guess, get their kind of like Good closure. This is like a learning experience for Saber for like unlimited blade works, I guess. Random dude with a dog. And the Grail War is now over? It's not over? Has the Grail manifested? No, it's not looking good. Uh oh, uh oh. Is it, is it being born into the world? Has it taken a form? I don't know. Gilgamesh, do something. But I thought we destroyed it. Fuyuki incident incoming. Like this entire city will be wiped out at this rate? Like this is not looking good. This is straight up looking like the incident at Fuyuki. This is Origins for FGO, really? I mean, Fake Grand Order, the first campaign, the tutorial, right? Everything was burned up in flames. I have no idea why the first map, everything was just in flames. All I was doing is re-rolling, you know? <laughs> I'm just fucking re-rolling the fucking gacha game. It's not, I got fucking baited. But I did literally not know what the fuck was going on. It's just like, everything is in flames. I don't care. I'm trying to fucking re-roll. Come on. Give me my five star. Come on. Ilya. <laughs> Your mama became a cop. The seven heroic servants. Hiritsugu, what can you do now, bro? Yustika? The elder. Ow. Who is this in the bridge? Just a random per- No, that's Kiritsugu on the bridge. What's Kiritsugu looking for? He's trying to save people, like- Damn, bro is going through it. Bro is going through it. Because, like, I thought last episode, we figured it out and realized that our ideals are flawed, but we will still commit by killing two and saving the world, a six billion or some shit. But at the end of the day, like, this shit still happens, so it just doesn't matter. Okasama ain't here. Who's she talking to though right now? Who's she having this dialogue with? Because Iris feels not here. We hear her voice. Another kid that's going to be waiting for their parents. Ain't coming back. I don't think he was to go. I don't know what's going to happen with Kiritsugu, but I don't think a happy ending for Ilya is going to be the case. Now what? Yeah. Sakura.
Dude, if Katya is like one of the survivors, I will... There's no way. How are you still alive? How are... <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> I would have never imagined him to fucking live into the finale. Sakura. No more worms for you, Sakura. Go. Good ending? Wait, wait, I, I can't say good ending when Katya literally killed Tokiomi and not killed Tokiomi and Aoi. Hey, you know, we, no, and Rinal and Sakura now all have to say, wow, Katya, Ojisa, oh, you really did make my, you keep your promise. Wait, where's Aoi though? Oh yeah, about that. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I see. It's a delusion. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is not happening. Yeah, this is just all in his mind. Never mind. Never mind. Fade it. Of course, we're not gonna get a happy ending. Of course, we're not. Fuck me. Sakura's eyes actually returned from just being pitch darkness too, man. This is so cruel. Oh, I see that's what you really wanted at the end of the day, Kariya, huh? I mean, you missed out on Aoi with Tokiomi, right? Because Tokiomi was the Giga Chia that took Aoi, but <laughs> Kariya at the end of the day just wanted to be daddy, bro! <laughs> <laughs> oh, brother. That's so fucked. That's so fucked. So, like, he did see Sakura at the stairway. But then he started hallucinating in his own delusions. And Sakura just watches Kariya just fall down to the pit of fucking worms like that. That is... <sighs> Fucked up. This is a bad ending, man. Bad fucking ending route. Zoken, she's just pretty much just completely brainwashed, just completely obedient to Zoken. Katya gets called foolish after sacrificing everything. And again, Katya is just so tragic. There was no fucking point to even sign up for this shit. He didn't even get his revenge. Nothing fucking mattered. And even at the very bitter end, Sakura just says, what an idiot, bro. Like, <sighs> man, that's fucked. Kirei. Kirei leaves. Gyogama saved him! <laughs> hey, the finale is going fucking hard today, bro. <laughs> Why just naked? Where'd the clothing go? Like, I'm just imagining a naked Gyogama fucking dragging uh, Kirei out of the rubble. Just think about that. A naked Gilgamesh just dragging Kide. He still sits on top. The mud. Gilgamesh surpassed the grail? What do you mean? I, I mean, the, the goop fell on him, right? The sludge shit. And that's supposed to be like the grail stuff. But like, he's still good. Is he just gonna be here? Are you going back home? Are you gonna hang out with Kirin? <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> he did it. The, the, the madman fucking did it. He was too much for the grail. He surpassed the grail. Bro... It, 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 that's what Ryder wanted to... It, <laughs> Gilgamesh just... Yeah, that's just the skill issue, right? Compared to everyone else, Gilgamesh is just him. He literally just fucking became a real person now. He's just chilling here, okay? So, Angry Mango and Kiritsugu. Kiritsugu kind of won there, did he not? Didn't Kiritsugu win against Angry Mango? Well, no, the grill called Kiritsugu Angry Mango, but like the whole like inner monologue of the ideals, right? And Kiritsugu being shown examples. Kiritsugu won too, but it doesn't really seem like he won because the grill still fucked everything up. I guess to a lesser degree, it's not the whole world got destroyed, only Fuyuki did, I guess, right? And then Gilgamesh too, he, he just won. Angry Mango was like, damn, 
You're just gonna keep calling me Zashu and Onore, huh? Okay, I'm, I'm gonna let you go now. We're wasting time. But like Gilgamesh achieving true incarnation isn't an actual wish, is it? I'm kind of confused. Because like, the, the Fuyuki still got fucked up. Kiritsugu refused the wish. Gilgamesh also refused the wish? It's different. No one got their wish granted. Grail was like, fuck it. None of you are going to let me pop off. I'm going to do a little, little bit, right? It's it just like, oh, come on, man. Ain't nobody taking the bait. All right, fuck you. Just a little bit. And then the mud destroyed Fuyuki just a bit is my interpretation. You're good, bro. No heartbeats? No heartbeats? Kiri just transcend humanity? What the hell? Gilgamesh, due to the connection and Gilgamesh overcoming the mud, now Kire has become a superhuman? I mean, he already was, but like, what the hell? He has no heartbeat. Is he just like no warm blood? I don't know. It's not like he is a zombie. Like, does he even have a heart anymore? It's just not even beating, but he's still alive due to the connection with Gilgamesh and Gilgamesh's true incarnation. Okay. The winners. Behold. Did he desire this? I don't see Mapo Tofu anywhere here. Also, when does he develop the affection for Mapo Tofu? Does he already love Mapo Tofu at this point? Is there some funny like spin-off like OVAs where Kire is like, oh, the spicy food. A new pleasure has been discovered. And he's like, oh, this must be what it means to truly live life. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he's even laughing like Gilgamesh, bro. Yeah, Kire has just fully awakened. He's just, he's good. <laughs> this angle. I don't know, bro. He loves this shit. But like, Gilgamesh is gaslighting Kire right now, right? Because like, is... This isn't Kire's wish. No one's wish came true. Gilgamesh just somehow became a true incarnate, by, but still rejected the grail. No one's wish came true, right? The grill got blue balled, but simply the byproduct, the 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 the, uh, the aftermath, right? The spillover is what Gilgamesh is saying. This is your wish, right? Simply just gaslighting Kire. <laughs> but like in history, will Kire now be acknowledged as a Grail winner? How does that work? Like in paper, like someone has to write this shit up, right? So what is Kire actually like? Is it going to be confirmed in, in history? Like, yes, Kire in Gilgamesh won the fucking holy war and, and, and he got his wish granted. I don't know. This <laughs> doll just fucking jump scare out of nowhere. I mean, Risei was a fucking piece of shit judge too. <laughs> <laughs> He's going crazy. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> nah, yeah, you need more. Another one. Another one. Cover yourself up. Okay. He wants to seek the truth, the true meaning of this? Alright. Damn. These two, what a dynamic duo. Angry Mango. He wants to do it fucking again. He needs to understand the actual truth. Kiritsugo. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. Kiritsugu. But the pe but like Kiritsugu is just looking so dead, empty, hollow, just without any meaning, depressed. Kire is having the time of his life. Kire is so fulfilled right now.
He has a new goal, a new purpose in life. That's so fucked up. <laughs> Can't believe Kide is the biggest winner of Fate Zero. Holy shit. One last fight or what? What are we doing? Mm. <laughs> he just walked up and I was like, oh shit, it's that superhuman Wolverine bullshit guy with 10,000 command spells. I'm out, bro. It Fuck that fight. He's just looking for survivors, I think, right? Like, he's just so devastated by the amount of, like, innocent lives taken due to the byproduct of the Grail. And now he's like, oh no, all of this shit happened because of me. More people died. I didn't say fucking anything. My entire fucking philosophy meant nothing. My entire life was a waste. Natalia must be waiting for me in hell. Damn, even Kitty is like pitying him, I think. I don't know. He looks a bit pissed off. What, 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 what is Kitty feeling here? Obviously, distaste. He looks at Kiritsugu just depressed and without any life and looking for any signs of life. Kide sees this as pathetic, as in like you lost your way, you're no longer the person that I thought you were. I'm not sure, but damn bro. That's it. That's the fucking conclusion of the Grail War. Kiritsugu just... His entire worldview shattered. Saber just... Realizes that she was wrong and she, she fucking one last Excalibur and gone. Everyone fucking lost. I think Waver got a lot out of it through writer's lessons, but Kire and fucking Gilgamesh. Gilgamesh literally attained true incarnation. And now Kire even has a new purpose to fulfill too. Just crazy. And now he's like a what? Like an undead person? He has a literal fucking bullet hole. He's a hole in his chest right now. His heart's not beating. Yet he has more life. He has more life than this guy. Yeah. See you next time. Hmm? Kiritsugu wanted to find someone alive. Kiritsugu himself was saved by finding someone with life. The main character for Unlimited Blade work. Right? It's that kid that got fucked up by that suit guy. Remember that one random video we watched? And this kid was getting fucked up by the suit man, the salary man, just bah, bah, bah. He just got clapped, but... So, Kiritsugu wanted to see just anyone alive, please. If there's one person alive, then at least, like, my life will have some sort of meaning. May the kid jealous. Because of how happy he was for seeing someone alive. That is an interesting... So, the aftermath of his philosophy, it used to be sacrifice the less to save the greater. But in this situation, everyone pretty much died seemingly around this area, but only one person survived. And that simply one person living, even though somebody died, as long as there's one person living that as then at least, like, my life will have meant something, I guess. Two people got saved here. Grail World over. Are we gonna have an award ceremony? <laughs> Are we gonna have a fucking award ceremony? I don't know who would run that shit. <laughs> it would be a very depressing award ceremony. I don't... <laughs> just, just think about it would be fucking hilarious. <laughs> okay. Ah, shit. Hold up. Here we go. Heathrow. Heathrow. <laughs> Toronto? Dad's in Canada? Okay. あら、ま、でもって学校が嫌になったのいや、そういう勉強以外のことろくに興味持たなかった。Okay. 
he gonna go find Okeanos. ただの霊魂風情がこれだけの痕跡を残していくってのは。I want to hear Ryder's voice one more time. The video games or the clothing? Yeah, video games. Oh, oh, the t that the T-shirt. Original t shirt Oh, that's what it was. A pre-order bonus T-shirt. Ryder. I know that my ready my ribs. One more time. One more time. I know that my redeemer lives. Nah, doesn't hit the same. I need the English. I need the English. My redeemer lives. Mm, lives. And that end. After my skin has been destroyed, yet in my flesh. And she don't know. And she don't fucking know. This dude, this dude is literally having like the closing ceremony for Tokiomi's funeral. It's, 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 you fucking put him down there. You put him under, bro. <laughs> I will see God. I myself will eyes. The English is actually I really good. Not another will see me. The, the English is unironically Amen. pretty good. Amen. Leave. All right, Rin. I'm your guardian now, Rin. The mother was jubilant. おとといことだろ。まだ刻印は完全には馴染んでいないのだろ。Oh, she's so, not yeah. really there, though. I thought that Kadia killed Aoi by choking her out, but it seems like Aoi is pretty much, like, not all there in the head. Doesn't remember shit. Right, yeah. Basically, like, was just... I don't know if this if the example of a stroke is correct, but just depriving the brain of oxygen for a long period of time, and now she's resuscitated, but... She ain't all there. Like, the... Not necessarily vegetable, she can talk. But, like... The logic, the thinking... I don't think it's there. Mom, you, you sold Sakura away. Ooh. Ooh. This is a fucking wicked ending for the Tosakas too, man. Like, holy shit. What's a sadder situation? Where Rin doesn't even have a mom because Kari actually killed her? Or this? Or mom is around, but mom isn't mom. A part of me feels like her surviving is more cruel in this state, you know? You have to deal with this emotional baggage. This is worse. You could say, like, what do you mean? At least her life is still here. Listen, it's not that fucking simple. She is not the same person. She is pretty much a, a, like a patient with dementia at this point. It's more emotional baggage for everyone surrounding her. It's just suffering. And herself, she's not even all there. It's just, if you actually have any sense of, like, mercy in your soul, you would hope that she could rest in peace right now. <laughs> I mean, he is the guardian now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you take care of Rin. I don't know about Sakura, but take care of Rin. Ah, 
classic anime dad. Take care of Sakura and Red. I gotta get out of here. Yeah, I have no fucking dad. Where's he going? Second crest. There's multiple crests. <laughs> Here's a gift. Is this the same blade that Tokiomi gave him as a gift and then we killed father with it? That is so fucked up. Hey, hey girl! This gift I got for you. You know, your dad gave it to me and then I fucking just... Now it's for you. Damn, bro. What the Azot fuck? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. When Kirei graduated <laughs> apprenticeship. Yo, Rin, stab him right now. Rin, stab him right now. Please. <laughs> Do it, Rin. Come on, finish him. <laughs> yeah, that was his. Oh, <laughs> Kirei, you monster. You see the slight subtle change in his face? You see this shit? Oh, he loves it. Oh, he loves the content. He was playing poker face the entire time. And now he's like, oh, yes. A little child crying after the death of her father, which I killed with this weapon. And then I gave her the gift. Oh, Gilgamesh, are you seeing this? Gilgamesh, what do you think about this? A little bit better than a middle school theater drama, huh? Gilgamesh should probably like, <laughs> not bad, Kire, not bad. <laughs> so fucked, Kire. That's so messed up. Like he does this intentionally to make Rin feels like this. That's so fucked up. Oh my god. Oh, oh, Saber, what's going on? Use Excalibur and disappeared. Is this basically where heroic servants go? Like, for Saber specifically. Like, she's gone, no more Grail War, and now she's in this waiting lobby. Like, what is this? <laughs> it's only Saber? <laughs> she's the exception? That's kind of fucked up. Where does everyone else go right now? What happens to Ryder? Because again, I only know this show through FGO, and we summon those motherfuckers. But like, wh wh what is Ryder? What is Lance? What are they all doing? Are they all just like in heaven? Just like partying around. Woo! Yeah, about that battle, huh? Everyone is in the throne of heroes. What's the throne of heroes? What is that? Is it like beyond the pearly gates where everyone's just chilling? All the heroic servants? It's a place outside of time. I'm just trying to think like, is it like a place, like a location where people are just chilling and partying and having fun until they get summoned? But only Saber is here. <laughs> She's not allowed to be there because Saber's not a hero. <laughs> Saber couldn't make it into heaven. <laughs> Loving Guinevere. That name is kind of familiar. I'm not. I don't. I'm not. If I saw a face, maybe I'd recognize. <laughs> King Arthur's wife, Guinevere. <laughs> so Lancelot fucks Saber's husband. How is Saber's? How is the Saber's fault? Listen, if Saber fucked Lancelot's wife, I would understand. Wife, okay, yeah, yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Why, why is Saber getting shit on? Saber got, Saber, Saber got her wife. Lancelot fucked Saber's wife. And, and Lancelot's mad at Saber? And Saber's like, I'm so sorry. What, what, what kind of next level of cuckoldry is this shit? <laughs> So like, he wanted atonement. He felt guilty, he fucked Saber's girl, and now he's like, please punish me. But Saber didn't punish him. And now he gets someone as Berserker and goes, Please punish me. Arrgh! I thought Saber did something to Lancelot. I thought Lancelot got done dirty by Saber. <laughs> but... Now it's like she got her own. She, she got her wife fucked. She, I, the saber just taking like an enormous amount of else. This is this is crazy. My fault. My fault for not getting mad.
Yeah. Hey, Lancelot admits that. I don't think Ryder would agree, nor Gilgamesh, but at least Lancelot said you were the greatest king. But like, isn't this pursuit for the grail just never gonna work? The true nature of the grail. Do you think that this is fucking, this would happen? You know? Like, I feel like Saber's pursuit for, to win the grail, like, the grail war is just a scam. Right? Your wishes will never become true. How much of Dear Mood's curse towards the Grail impacts Angry Mango? What do you think? Is like is this the same shit where Amelia says, "May the blessing of the spirits be with you," while she's talking to lesser spirits and nothing fucking happens? What Dear Mood said there? Dear Mood literally says, "I curse the Grail." Let the world know of the wrath of Dear Moon. <laughs> Nothing. It was all just Cap. All Cap. Got it. Really? Oh. Oh, we're, we're kicked out. I... They... I can't even visit my daughter. They won't let me in. I don't... I don't have the grip. That's fucked. Oh my god. That's so messed up. Oh. Kiritsugu's new life with the red hair There's a new life for Kiritsugu. Shiro. Shiro. Okay. Five years later. Ooh, time skip. Damn, Kiritsugu just. Again, he can't, he literally cannot visit Ilya. There's no way to contact her. But like for five years, she just waited, 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 nothing. Dude, if Ilya has a role in Unlimited Blade Works, like, I'd be pissed if I was her. Like, it just got abandoned, fucking nothing. Like, that, that's so sad. And you need to go out here fucking raising another kid. Hey, I mean, what can he do really, right? Oh. Yeah. It's okay. The admittance. Champion of Life is hard, kid. うん。残念ながら、ヒーローは期間限定で大人になると、そんなこと。もっと早く。Yeah, <sighs> I mean, obviously beyond just like fate in real life, when you're a kid, you have these ideals and dreams, but they kind of like those kind of voices in your head gets drowned out as you're like forced with like society, right? The expectations that you have at different age ranges and the different responsibilities that you gain so that you kind of lose all sight of that. Skill issue. Emi Ashiro, be the champion of justice for him. I don't know, maybe Emi Ashiro will inherit Kirisugu's will in being a champion of justice. In his own way, without sacrificing. I don't know how much of this kid knows about Kiritsugu's ideals. Probably has no idea. <laughs> Imagine he becomes like a clone of him. That would be very tragic. But I'm sure Shiro will figure out his own way and actually achieve his ideals as a child. And Kiritsugu is just washed. I don't know. Time moon. Hontouni. Itsukita. Yeah, in Face Day Night and beyond. True. I'll inherit it. Yeah, it's looking like Shido's gonna summon Saber. Yeah. It's looking like Fate Zero is like a failed run for Saber and her redemption is like in Fate Stay Night, Unlimited Blade Works maybe, right? That, that's what it's looking like, the light shining down on her as she's like, Oh, I couldn't do anything. And Shido's like, I'll do it for you, Dad. I'll fucking do it. Yeah, there it is. Your redemption. Next season, Saber. Soka. Ah, Champion of justice. And ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of Eight zero. My first 
introduction to the Fate franchise aside from the games and watching actual anime, I rate this anime minimum 9 out of 10. Minimum. I think this is a 9 point something. Am I capping? Am I crazy? I don't think I am. Production value aside, the deep, deep complexities and the ideals of each character is clashing and not everyone's ideals being correct. I loved it. Not every good person gets a good ending, and not every bad person gets a bad ending. The world is a lot more vague and ambiguous than just good or bad. People like, you know, Caster and Ryunosuke can get an amazing closure, while people like Lancer... I don't know if Kanan is this really good person. He's not, but you know, it's like... Just because you're seemingly a good person doesn't mean you're gonna get the good shit, and people like Kirei, you just fucking getting away with it, bro. Kirei just fucking getting away with it, bro. Same with Gilgamesh. And all of this leads into Unlimited Blade Works, which is an anime that unfortunately uh, did not win the poll, but it doesn't mean we can't watch it. Simply win a poll, and we can simply pick up the Unlimited Blade Works right after, man. I loved this anime for the storytelling, the way that Kiritsugu and Kirin mutually glazed each other from episode 1 and then leading into the like episode 24 with the fight. Fucking fantastic. Gilgamesh just being the most pompous, arrogant asshole, but he has the competency, the powers to back it up. Ryder just shitting on Saber on her ideals, just being such a fucking giga chat, just changing my you know, perspective on what a true king is. Is a king supposed to serve his people or the people supposed to serve the king? And then if a king is so glorious, he inspires that same greatness in his subjects. Therefore, you're not alone in the superiority. You all stand together. Everything was so fucking fantastic. If I think about it, I think my favorite episode, it might have been still episode 16. Yeah, the end of Kaneth. Salawi and Diarmuid, the way that Kiritsugu handled that was fucking raw. Like, up until that point, I'm like, yeah, I know Kiritsugu plays dirty. I've seen him blow up a building. I've seen him snipe Ryunosuke, but like, what else? Oh my god, that shit just like blew my mind on like the level of deceit and just lies that was happening. Kiritsugu Kirei fight was also cool with Kiritsugu also being like confronted with his ideals by Angry Mango in episode 24. That was also very intense. Uh, very interesting and just overall just fantastic anime with so many highs and so many lows and just ah, oh, just such a such a beautifully tragic show man just <laughs> i still want to say it's like a minimum nine maybe it's like minimum 8.5 i don't know i feel like this should be like a nine point something maybe i'm glazing it too much right now but god damn this is definitely in the realm of greatness and i'm so happy that i watched phase zero and again unlimited blade works even if it's not going to win the immediate poll next, all you have to do is vote it in. And we can pick this shit back up and continue the story with Emiya Shiro. And that's it from me. If you're still here and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.